Right, morning. Shot with Mick Miller here. Uh, we're not taking the cannons out today. Oh no. We are doing a work party today. Um, so obviously we need to catch up on some feeding and general getting things ready. Um, and we're going to put some feeders out today. And um, what we do, we use these barrels here that um, Ashley got on the internet from somewhere. Where's your information? Good old eBay, mate. eBay. Ebay, it's all Ebay now. And basically what we've got We're gonna put bits of wood on here, get them up at 45 centimetres. And obviously as you're gonna be drilling the bottom of this out, these spring feeders. That, they just screw in like so and then you drill them through the bottom of the tub and that will sit through the bottom and the pheasants will peck at the corn through the spring feeders okay obviously the gamekeepers know know what they're doing this is for new and up and coming people that have got their own shoe and they're going to put some spring feeders out okay and um, we'll do a blow by blow how we're going to make these okay and um uh, we'll get cracking. Right, what we're doing here is all that stuff we cut down last year, we're getting rid of now. We're going to have a big fire over there at some stage. So, because basically if you shoot a duck jack and it lands, lands in this lot, you ain't going to find it at dark, are you? So, we're clearing this just so it does make it a little bit easier. It's not the easiest job in the world ever. But hey, keeps you fit. Right, what we're doing here, um, ducks dabble or they feed in six inches of water. So if it's too deep, they won't feed. They'll die, they'll, you know, they're divers as well, but they generally dabble in six inches of water. So the problem with little pond here, you look, the reeds keep on coming out further and further and further and we're losing the nice natural bank that we had. So what we want is to get things like here, where it is, this is ideal, still depth here. You know, you can put corn in here and uh, they'll feed, they'll, uh, they'll feed quite merrily here. So every now and again, it's worth having a bit of a sort out and getting rid of some of these reeds. So you get your spade, dig down, just loosen them, and then you'll find that the whole thing comes up, yeah? smells lovely and then you can do this and that way start making your channel into your feeding channels then yeah good right one where on this subject of natural hide building again. Got a bush here, it's an ideal position for shooting. So we've got hide one, other side of that bush. This is hide two. Only shoots two people, this little pond really. Um, 
you know you can't have any more than two hides on the same side if you have hides over the other side it's uh, gets a tad dangerous um, so basically natural hide building like I say let these bushes grow up over the summer this time of year now your season's coming in just cut them at the height that you want to shoot at let the growth go that way and then what you do is you've got a nice we get a chair in here we've got a really nice nice natural hide okay uh, when the old crackers come in also where we did do the work last year we have got these quite big bits of tree which you can always double up you haven't got a wood burner double up put that in there like so Double it up like that. And you've got even better hide there. Put your gun stick over there. That's what we'll do. There's some other logs down there. We'll put them up there, Jack. And then we'll uh, we'll make this hide. Come on, one. Right been a productive day today, done quite a bit actually on the on the farm today. Um, this is where we're dotting these feeders around, little corners of fields, little copses, um, what we do. Uh, Ashley, you've been busy today mate, making these up, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You can see he's done a sterling job, bolted, bolted those feet on there like that. Uh, 450 centimetres, they say, um, for the height. Uh, we'll have to see how we get on with the deer, might knock them over. But, uh, but yeah, so obviously what you can do is just get it off there. It smells of chutney. <laughs> These are old chutney um, tubs uh, uh, for your uh, uh, Indian takeaways. Um, and obviously upcycling, isn't it? Because these are the old two by two from the reservoir yep. that didn't quite work out on those on those posts. So we've reused the two by two. Got some chutney barrels. Only thing we've got is the springs, really. They're new. But uh, so yeah, yeah, if you can reuse things around the farm, it does make sense, doesn't it? But good, okay. So we've put the we won't actually put the corn in yet. We're only doing it so we can get the van round at the moment. So we've put the corn in the sacks in there. When it starts getting colder, first start moving around. We'll seed it. Okay. Right. To finish off our work party today, it's been a very action-packed day, isn't it, Ashley? Yep. I've been knackered, I am. Um, anyway, you've gone from the little pond now to the quarry reservoir, and here you've got, you haven't got the pleasure of um, six inch shallow banks here. It literally drops to about, in places, about three metres here. So it's a very, very deep, deep uh, dug quarry, this. Um, so the only way to feed ducks here, if you are going to feed it, um, is you can um, put your feeders on the side but that's prone to other birds nicking your corn or you do what I did many years ago make a raft and what you do is um, here's your raft it's Celotex so that's your that's your floating agent there yeah and then uh, you put ply on there yeah and a bit of batten to hold your wheat in there as well uh, and what you do you've got your your weight here your draw rope there so you put your wheat on it float it chuck your weight out and obviously it'll draw it across the reservoir and then you tie your rope on a bit of tree somewhere and that way your ducks can Obviously, you are going to get the greedy ones that come in first of all, they're going to nickel the wheat, but then again, at least if you get a few duck coming in, it attracts more duck at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, so this is like a raft feeding idea that I came up with a few years ago. Ashley's built this today. Let's uh, give it a go. History repeating itself. All right, are you ready? Ready, mate. Have you got the bottle of champagne like when they launch boats, Ashley? <laughs> Well, we'll have to save that for later. Okay. But it floats actually, that's the first. That's the first thing. This is going to get caught up now. We've really got to get some slack on this. 
I might have to have that in one hand, that's it. Right, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Draws it out, and when you want to chop your wheat up, keep your draw wire, pull it in. And trust me, the ducks come in here, they'll find this. Here we are. Okay, all right, let's get around the campfire then, shall we? 